Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a tutorial for this look and this is something that I just sort of randomly created. I was trying to use um, this pigment. This is this is Countess. It's one of the newer ones and I just came up with this. One thing that I will add is that these contacts, ooh, um, obviously you don't have to wear these. I just think it looks really cool. Um, I like them. They are from Pinky Paradise. Uh, it's a contact company and they contacted me, um, asked if I'd like to try them out and I said yes and I really, really like them. They're um, super, super comfortable and they're great so I will have an extensive review of um, these contacts with the other ones that I got but like look at the case it came in they are prescription so I can do all these crazy sort of looks um, with these contacts I think it just adds so much more extra dimension to a look even if this is something that is not wearable it just adds it like to another level so yeah if you guys want to know how to do this makeup look then just stay tuned and here's the tutorial so to start off this look, I'm using a sugar pill pigment. This one is Charmy, right? Yes. And I'm using that just as a crease color. I originally started this look and it was going to be a wearable, um, a wearable look. And then as it sort of progressed, not so much. Um, the next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking Current um, Lip Liner from NYX. And this lip liner is actually like pretty close to the color of the next pigment that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to smudge that out with my finger. And the main pigment that I'm using today um, is this one, and this one is Countess. This is one of the new colors from the Sugar Pill collection. It's beautiful. It's um, kind of a burgundy red and it has sort of like a blue shimmer to it. It's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to take that on a flat shader brush and just pack that on top of that color. And then I'm just gonna use the side of my brush and just sort of blend the two together. I'm also gonna pick up a little bit of it on the brush and then just put that up in the crease as well. And then I'm going to take Charmy and put that underneath my eye. And this is about the time where I realized like, okay, I wanna make this um, more dramatic. So I basically just took a black eyeliner. So I'm using Feline Eye Coal from MAC. And then I just took a pencil brush and I blended that black all the way down. And then went into Countess, got a little bit of that product onto the brush and then this I just applied right on top of that black. And I think if you notice the difference, if you apply it on top of a black, it brings out that sort of purpley blue tone. And then I just took a little bit of that on a brush and just kind of blended it um, underneath my eye. So that alone without the contacts and some mascara is kind of like a grungy, um, look. So that's kind of neat if you like that kind of thing. A clean 217 brush and I'm going to go into this pigment. This is Goldilocks from Sugar Pill and this is gonna go right on the inner corner and I do want it to be super messy. Um, also gonna get blended as a brow highlight. And then I'm gonna work on the face. Um, I started out this look, I had a little bit of contour already. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm just using the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm going to go into this darkest shade and just get a little bit on my brush, tap it off. And, and I'm just going to darken that up um, even more. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this on, on the tip of my brush and go underneath my lip. This is gonna make your lip look um, more full. And then I'm going to take a blush brush. I'm going to go into some of this Countess color and I'm going to sort of use that as a blush. I'm going to use that as a gold highlight. The face is really gold. Also going to take a little bit of that kind of up here on the forehead. And then I am just going to take a brush and sort of blend that kind of out a little bit. 
And then just on a smaller brush, I'm gonna go into the gold. This is gonna go right on the tip of my nose. And also on my Cupid's bow. Oops. Yeah, that is going to tie into what I'm going to use on the lips, but first off, I'm going to apply eyelashes. Um, these were some crazy Halloween eyelashes that I've had for years. I've had these for like seven years, I think. Um, they were four-pronged, and then I put these on and realized that I didn't like the fourth one pointing like right to the middle, so I cut that one off. So I'm going to apply those and then show you how to do the rest of the face. All right, so the eyes are complete. I put on these lashes, which in case you guys are wondering, are every bit as annoying as you think they are. Um, but they're really cool and they're fun for their sort of dramatic things. And so the last thing I have to do is the lips. I'm going to be using this. This is Wicked, um, which I figured looked really nice sort of with this look. And um, I'm going to just apply that and then I might add some other colors on top of it. I'm not quite sure, but for now I'm just going to use Wicked. So then with the Wicked Velveteen applied, this is what it looks like. Um, I am going to switch it up a little bit. So in case you guys are wondering, this is what it looks like with it. Um, really cool color. Love this color. It's gorgeous. Um, but I am going to add a little bit of Countess on top. I haven't done this yet, just to see what it looks like. So if it looks better like this, this is what it looks like. Ooh, nope, that's pretty cool. Kind of dust that on the middle. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Mm. And then, what did I do with that? All right, and then just to completely add the kicker, I'm going to take that Goldilux pigment again, and I'm just going to add that to like the very, very center. All right, and then that is the finished look. I do hope you guys sort of like this. Um, I know it's just another random video, but there's things that you can definitely do. If you have Wicked Velveteen, um, play around with some burgundy eyeshadows on it. It makes it really cool. Um, the eyes, definitely, I will be doing a more wearable look using Countess. Um, it's beautiful, and I love it, um, but I just wanted to do something cool. Um, again, I will leave a link down below to the products that I use. Definitely um, these three from Sugar Pill and also a link to the contacts that I use. They are from Pinky Paradise. I think I stated that at the beginning of the video, but um, if you guys are wondering. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys like this and let me know down below if you wanna see more looks like this. I miss doing stuff like this. This is what I kind of started doing on YouTube. So yeah, let me know if you guys are enjoying it. So uh, yeah, until my next one, I will talk to all you soon. Bye.